Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to my channel. I thought since I'm going to have the November giveaway is going to be flowers, fabric flowers and paper flowers. And I thought, you know, while I'm doing some of the paper flowers to bring you all along with me. And so, first off, as you know, if, when you get these darling inks, um, they're called Dew Drop. They're in beautiful colors. Look at those colors. And you can stamp them. You know, this is not my original idea, but you can stamp them and then cut them out. And I put this one, which is a dark a nice dark a plum on purple paper and then I take the um, scissors that are you know I guess border scissors I guess you call them and cut them that's not an original idea either and then I turn them over um, this is a mouse pad that I got from Target on clearance, consider the possibility a few years ago. And I turn it over and use that. You could also use, I also did this. I just stack, these are from um, Dollar Tree. And you can just stack them together and use these too if you would like. Um, there are, are bigger styluses than this, but I like using this one because it looks like veins, you know? And we're gonna do these together, and I think I'm gonna change my glasses out. <laughs> I should have already done that. So, but that's how these petals came out. And, of course, you know that you can glue them all together and then put something fun in the center. So, and then I'm going to tell you what I tried to do with other ones. So, what I do is I come around the edges and, you know, there's so many videos on YouTube on how to do these, but I'm going to let you all just see how I do them. I mean, we all do them a little bit different, I think. Isn't that what we try to do on YouTube, even if we see something that inspires us? See, it looks like veins. I hope you can see that. Even if we see something, you know, that inspires us or is, we're like, oh, that is so cool. Hopefully we always put our own spin on it. So I'm going to go quiet off and on because uh, our darling Toby is coming today. And I don't know if she's going to speed it up in sections. But we all know that, well, it is fun to hear the little chipmunk voice, though, isn't it? <laughs> but it kind of shocked her the last time I went quiet, and I said, well, then there's no chipmunk voice you have to deal with. And she was like, but you're quiet. <laughs> like, Mom, that's not like you. For example, this, I mean, and also you don't have to go from here to the tip. You can go backwards, too, if you want. Just giving them some veins and some dimension.
hand. I won't be gluing these right now. I will be gluing some other ones, but these, but isn't that going to be pretty with that pearlescent? That almost looks like a dogwood, doesn't it? Boy, that reminds me of a dogwood. So the other thing I did, as far as the inks were concerned, is I also had these guys, the little color box, and they look just like a petal to me. So, especially, and I love the silver and the gold, and um, I just had so much fun doing them. I'm not going to touch them. Let's see, do I have anything? Because my hands will get wet. But yeah, there's, hopefully you can see that. That's how they come out, but they're still wet, and I did those a day and a half ago. And I was like, why are they still wet? But um, I want to do the similar thing to them as well. And let me show you an example, you know, on gray paper doing the silver. Still wet. <laughs> and then... Um, these didn't come out so good, but the copper and the gold on a tan paper. And they're still wet, and they are actually sitting on my radiator. So I'm like, seriously? Seriously? You're, gonna <laughs> you're not going to dry sitting on the radiator? I just couldn't get over that. So I think one of the things we should do, if you have punches... You know, a lot of times we do our punches and thoroughly enjoy working with them. I'm going to try to grab some scrap paper. I should have been much more organized than this, but it's obvious now that I wasn't. <laughs> At least I have a spot. Now, see, I'm just happy that I have this spot in order to to craft in because it was literally piled up like this when I was working on the um, on the princess uh, Disney princess bag toppers so <laughs> so let's do this one I went ahead and um, these are is that Fiskars that does this I think love Fiskars we can do two of these guys and then maybe one of this one. And as you know, they come in all different sizes. And sometimes if you go with your bigger stylus ball, it it's faster and does a good a good job, but I have a tendency to like to do them this way. Like I said, everybody has their own method. Um, sometimes I curl them this way. Paper's fascinating, isn't it? Well, it fascinates me. And if I want them down, to turn down, then I just turn it over and do that. You can also just go from the tip in or the tip in out. This one doesn't want to curl as much, does it? Since you can't make me. <laughs> All right. Turn it over. Go like so. And then this cute little lavender one. We'll go with just a little bit smaller. my 
scissors ago. That is for to make a nice little noise. And I don't like it. See if we like it first before we glue it. So we're gonna have this one here, this one here, and then this one back to there. And you don't have to do odd numbers. I just have a tendency to like odd numbers. I always have. Alrighty, we'll do that. And in here is art glitter glue. Whoopsie dee. And then sometimes I just hold it down with the stylist again to make sure that stays put. It feels so odd. I know I say it every time. But to be in here without the radio on, I can hear air, I can hear the clock and every little noise outside. <laughs> Then you can tell that I didn't put everything around me because now I have to go looking for a gem. <laughs> I have these from Miss Sparkling Co. If we want to keep it all lavender, let's do that. And even though these do have adhesives on them, I do not trust the adhesive even though it works very well on my fingers. <laughs> so what I'm going to use is what I always do. Hanson got me the jewel picker. I think he got that on Amazon. And then I use the glossy accents, which, um, Christy from Christy R. Crafts has recently discovered and she said she liked using it. Okay. Let's hope this works. Sometimes I can get this to come off of here and sometimes I can't. So now we've got one with punches. Not everybody has those two punches, though. And this is how it turned out. <laughs> Maybe I should put it on something prettier. How about this? <laughs> How's that look? So we've given it dimension. We've messed with the little paper fibers and come up with that using three punches. Um, two of one size and one of the smaller. And then this is not an original idea either. But you can also do your, if you have um, scallop 
punches. I have this old one that I got at a thrift store that I use a lot. And this is, I don't know who put this out. Okay. And then I also have, let's see. So I also have this one which I know is Fiskars. Then maybe we'll try to put these guys together. Let's see, what you think? So again, this is not an original idea. This has been done um, on other channels but just a matter of cutting into the center. On each scallop. And do the same on the little one. So I'm going to go in less. You're just forming your petals. And I'm going at such an angle where I hope I don't cut one. <laughs> One of my petals clean off that angle I'm going. Okay. So, again, if you don't have a stylus, I before have used things like, let me see if I can do it with these pins. Nope, that's a little too thick. I'm trying to think. I've had paint brushes too that I just and even pencils and pens. I've used those too, like this pen. I really would like I don't know if I use it on that one, but you can also manipulate, you know, your fibers with even pens and stuff. You and um, see, we've already got it. Also, I'm trying to think if you have a paintbrush. My paintbrushes are everywhere but where I need them. <laughs> let's see. Let's do this one. Interesting. I just pulled this one. I just pulled this one out. And yes, it has a, a plum base to it. But even your paintbrushes can can do the trick. If you don't have a stylus, that's okay. And it doesn't have to be an expensive paintbrush. You all know I either get mine at Ross or I get them for 75%. <laughs> but you can do this also. And you can manipulate the paper that way. You might be saying, Corey, it's not nice to manipulate paper. <laughs> but that's one, you know, another way that you could do it. I'm going to place that over there. And um, just each petal, I usually just go in circles at the base and then bring it up. I'm hoping I'm not out of frame. Just wanted to let you all know Dawn H. Creates has a craft with me up right now. 
She's really, she's so much fun to watch. And she has not only a very pleasant voice, but she's fun. There's not a dull bone in her body. <laughs> highly recommend that and also cat a couple of Thursday nights I was able to see her crafting live who is perfectly imperfect crafts and oh my goodness is she fantastic to watch I tell you this I might want to leave up but you can also, if you start doing this, watch how it pulls it up. That fascinates me. Whee! We'll pull it up even more. Let's leave those up. So I would highly recommend watching Cat too. I don't always get a chance to watch her live, but when I do, it's it's always so enjoyable. And Everybody else watching her is just so nice. It's it's a real treat. And again, if I go quiet, that's so that Toby can fast forward. Because just doing every single petal like this, I'm sure, is not too fascinating for y'all. <laughs> Ooh, I got awfully close to cutting that one. Like I said, I was doing it at such an angle instead of going straight in. Plus, you can also manipulate them a little bit like this once you've got them going in the direction you want them going. Check that out. Whoops. <laughs> so, you can also do like that. And then we could put a bigger gem in the middle. Let's do uh, one of the larger ones from the Sparkling Cave. Whoa, or have it fall on the floor. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> She's that corn. She's smooth. <laughs> get all gluey. That's what's happening. Where did I put that? Oh. I always try to get them from the side. Oh. Now, one thing you don't want to do is slide it so much that your glossy accents can be seen. <laughs> oh, that happens to me a lot. And I'm going to bring these down just a little bit. And there's another one that we just needed our scallop punches with. Let's see. Now, if you have 
ones like this. Let's do a different color so we can we can still have pretty pretty colors. Okay. Anybody want to see? I know a lot of my subbies love blue. Let's do a blue one. Now this is a EK Tools punch that I've had for a while. And this gives you five of them, but I don't always use the five. Do you all do that? Where you're like, oh, maybe I'll use that elsewhere later. Okay. And as you can see, sometimes my punch this one, since I've had it so long, kind of misbehaves with the edges, you know? And sometimes I have to get out my scissors and kind of clean that up. Shouldn't have done it on that black, though, should I? <laughs> now it's going to be very um, messy looking. But see how they're a little bit raggedy. Oh, well. And sometimes you can just go like, as you know, with your paper. And then other times I have to get my little Martha Stewart scissors out and cut, the, cut them. Like this one. And sometimes having that, those little edges like that, sometimes that's kind of cute because it's a shabby chic thing happening but sometimes it's not so cute it's like I don't like it <laughs> ooh that one really did mess up Yeah, normally I wouldn't do this. I think I punched it incorrectly. I mean, sometimes with old punches you get this, but not this bad. And of course, whenever you're trying to do anything on camera, mm -hmm, you all know it's true. It's like, oh boy, what's happening? Look how that paper is doing. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, this looks like it's gathered. Well, that's odd. That's never happened before, but let's go with it. There we go. You can make them all do that if you want. Of course, you don't have to do this at all. Oh, look. That is messed up. Just there. Well, I'll be... I'll be doggone, as we say back home. Hmm. Oops. Wrong one. How do we like that? I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan yet. I don't know if it's the paper or the punch. Or both.
usually skip those. I'll do just one of those. Or just the three, would that be cute? No. Let's see, if we don't like it, we don't have to put it on there, do we? See how when they're tiny. Um, also, you could leave it like that and just put that in your center, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to really get this tight and this one up tight. And this one. And what you could do, everybody's going, is just do like so. And then you have this cute little ball almost that you could put right there if you wanted it. You know what I mean? And then that would go there. I have to draw these in a little more. What happens if I use this one? Is that cute? Do we like it? set that one aside. <laughs> Not sure. But these aren't too bad. Boop, 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 boop. Don't do that. Yes, that's my sound effect. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that's... Yeah, let's do that. And our bling for the center of that one. Do I have blue bling? <laughs> I do, but it might be. 
be too dark. Let's see. Ooh. And that might be too turquoise. Hmm. Let's see. Sorry it's taken me so long, but I've got to hunt for it. Like I said, I should have been more prepared. And these are too large. All of them. Hmm. Too big. I don't have tons of blue, as you all, most of you all know. Hmm. I'm finding blue, but it's big. Let's see. Let's go a different route. Let's do... Do I have blue with this? Yes. Um, Handsome also got me these when he got me the little um, gem picker. Let's see if we like that. Yeah, that's just sweet. It's tiny, but it's sweet. I like that. So let's do that. Usually, I am. Um, I don't use the tiny ones except on my teeny tiny flowers, but that one is just so cute. It looks cute there. Now, unfortunately, unless I get the tiniest of, whoops, come here you, unless I get the tiniest of drops with my glossy accents on there, it's gonna show. I hope it's just a teeny tiny bit. And no, it is not. My eyesight, as most of you all know, is not good. And that was not a teeny tiny bit. There's going to be some glossiness there. Mm, not too cool, but I normally have this up to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> in order to see what's happening. Okay, so we've got another one. And also I have some more punches um, that I can work with. There's this one that I normally use with this one. And this one, I think, is Miss Sparkle and Co. And this one, oh, mercy, you have to press down on it so hard. And this is the Paper Studio, so that one's a nice one. And let's do... Let's do whatever... Oop, I just hit my light. Sorry, guys. Let's do what everybody expects me to do. <laughs> There's a pink one. up so much of this pink paper it's not even funny let's take this off of here just for a second and we'll do one sometimes these things fly around the room two Let's do the third one 
And let me try to find a piece of scrap paper. Let's try to find the third one in a darker thing. Maybe. I have a container here with my scraps that I... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And the table's going to shake, y'all. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. So with these, kind of like with the first ones that I showed you, what, what I do, which is, of course, just what I do. You, you all do what you need to do. But go from the outside and just kind of like draw it up. Of course, these look like daisies, little pink daisies. From the outside up. See, and that really curves these babies. <laughs> Come on, you. That curves so much. Which makes just a little bit of a curve there when you turn them over. Oh my, that's my stomach. It's lunchtime. I'll just do another one of the little tiny ones and then stop doing this after we do this one that is because nobody wants to listen to corn's tummy I don't want to if Toby is able to come today she would make that all go away but I don't know how to <laughs> nobody wants to hear that I don't want to it's my tummy and that's saying something, isn't it? I'm going to also try to go, since these are so tiny. Maybe turn this. Whoops, I was working with the small one anyway. That's what was happening. I'm going to go from the inside out on this one. Now, as you know, some people on YouTube go ahead and wet them. They spray them with a mist of water and I haven't done that yet some actually crumple them you know which would probably give you more of a prima flower uh, look to it but I haven't done that yet I hope to do it in the future these would have been cute too if um, especially with having this for the center to take, um, you know, a darker pink, and we don't even have to do the center. You could do it with ink too, but just, you know, you would do this before instead of after the fact. Just give them a little of the darker color on the edge too. <laughs> okay. Say, right? Okay. Which is a Tombow marker 723. So while I did that, though, as you can see, I kind of, there we go, kind of smushed it a little. There we go. Smushed this a few places, too. 
Okay. We can go down a little, but that was a little much. Okay. So. <laughs> My stomach, y'all. Oh, Toby, Toby, please. Please. Take that sound away. It's not attractive. <laughs> Is it human? Yes. Do we all do it? Gurgly, gurgly when we're hungry. Yes. Somebody just said, I don't. My stomach is cool. <laughs> Plus to ink them up, like I said, in a darker would be cute too. would be fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. And as you can imagine, I have pink bling. Well, why did I close that? Because I've already done that. <laughs> that, that, that. For our pink bling, there's tons of it up here. Or did I move it to the back because I was working with all that purple and blue? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's red. I don't know that. Y'all, I really wish I was more. This might be cute. <gasps> oh, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Well, let's see first. Let's see if we like it. Because this is kind of big to something so tiny. Oh, I love it, though. I know it's big, y'all, but how cute is that? Let's do it. Even though it takes away quite a bit. <laughs> Normally, I'd go smaller. But isn't that cute? Just, well, I'm just saying the gem is cute. Look at those. I must have liked the other ones, too. That's from K and Co. Love K and Co. So, let's do that. Come on, you. Oh, well. That's so big, I might be able just to take it up. I'm going to have to do this, guys, so that I don't mess it up like I did the other one. I just need it a little closer to me. I often said, if you all saw me fussy cutting and doing most of my crafting, um, the crafts with me, um, you'd just see the top of my head. Because I have to get so close to everything. And like I said, normally this is big for me, but... I like that iridescent pearl, flatback pearl. That's just fun. Let's see, what can I put? Let's put that on that. So that's how that one came out. And you know you can flip them up like this too, or you can put this petal down, that one up, this one down, you know. Manipulate them that way, too. There's someone on YouTube, I apologize for not knowing her name, that always puts the one on the bottom flat. And then has fun with the others. So that's another thing that you could do. Like so. And make it a little less dimensional so I'm just going to do one more tiny one and then I'll go grab some lunch and the small one that I'm going to do um, 
is this one, which is Paper Studio, and then this one, which I think is Paper Studio 2. I got um, this in a, a mason jar full of these on clearance, I think last year from Hobby Lobby. And we've got blue and purple and pink and... Let's see, what else should we do? Let me look and see my what I've got in my scraps. Very much the same colors. Let's go with the darker pink. Let's go that way this time. And just do the whole shebang. And that one. Let's see. See, I told you they go flying. Caught it, though. Let's do a one, a two, and a three. Okay. And there are so many other little ones that I do, but we'll just do these for today. Sorry, like I said, you all know, any lint or anything like that, black is just going to say, look, there it is. Now, you could cut these in also. You know what I mean? You could cut here, 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 and here. But I don't do that. But look what happens when you just go where you could cut. Look at that. Let's just keep doing that. That was, if other people have done it, that's fantastic. Um, that's kind of new to me. <laughs> I just did it. Let's see what happens when we use a smaller. So I said you could go here, 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 and here. Ooh, let's do that. Cool. How does that look? One there and one there. Hmm. Nah. It just, they don't want to go, it doesn't want to go over. Because we didn't cut them. Okay. Well, let's deal with it this way then. We will do this one like that. We will do this one like we did our others. Now this, a lot of, there is some paper crafting. I'm going to be honest with you all. Almost all of you all say that you um, are very, it's very calming. It doesn't always calm me to paper craft. I'm going to be honest about that. But when it comes to these flowers, I love, and I find it very calming making these. I mean, do I still consider it, you know, my time and hard work and stuff? Yes. But look how tiny. <laughs> Aww. And then for the center of this one, let's go with the other pink, the light pink. That almost looks white next to that pink, doesn't it? Oh, wow. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too much of a contrast. If it had like a medium, 
Let's do that. Let's go searching through the scraps for maybe a medium pink. Yeah, that one's much better. I did not like the other one was much too light. Yeah. At least we know we're still pink here. Oh, better. That's better. And as you know, you don't even need two, three, four, or five layers, even though the more layers, I think, add to it. Um, just those alone, I think, are cute, you know? And yes, um, I do even smaller ones than this, but that's, like I said, all you'd see is the top of my hair. It'd be like corn. That is, that's not fun. And what I sometimes do is in the center of these, if I leave it just a single, is put a nice, not a huge gem, but um, bigger instead of smaller. That's a much darker pink than I thought. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Okay. So, gem wise, should we go tiny? Which are these guys? Oh, that's such a dark pink. Oh, there's a dark pink in here. Okay, let's try and see if we can get it out of here. This is what we're trying to get it out of. But this way, yeah, I definitely have to have it. Oops. Unsuccessful. Let's try this way. Ooh. Well, that looks good there, doesn't it? Okay. And do we have one for this one? Maybe a little lighter than that? Yeah. Okay, but this one's doing something weird. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I know why. It's cut differently. It's not a flat back. So, nope. We need a flat back. Let me see if I can get a large. Nope. Yeah, we're just going to have to go with. But this one now, I don't know. I'm going to try a lighter one. Look at these guys over here. Handsome's got good taste, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, boy. The one I want is not a flat back. How about that one? Yeah, I think that one's better. Now let's get this closed before I close it. The drawer and they all come spilling out. That would not be fun, would it? Okay. 
So, let's do this one first. Whoops! I know, I'm not as graceful as some. <laughs> Hopefully, I can't see what y'all are seeing. Hopefully, you're not seeing the top of my head. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not fascinating. I can tell you that. Let me do this. What happens after a while is it likes, mine likes to bubble before it'll come out with that teeny tiny little and I don't want my glossy accents bubbling on my <laughs> on my project there we go we got it and then that's how these came out and I'm going to just show you what we did together today and like I said flowers are the November handmade giveaway, be they paper or be they fabric. And this is what we did today. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.